the welt is just so intense. It, the Grand Tour is hard. The good thing is you always forget how hard they are. If you remembered, I'm not sure you'd come back. It's an emotional roller coaster and physical roller coaster for the guys. Um, so it takes a special group of people to be to remain calm, deal with the setbacks, and the excitement and the celebrations, and and keep working. Okay, so here we are at the start of the Vuelta España in Holland. I'm Dutch, so I'm very proud to be in Holland and have the start of the Vuelta in Utrecht. Feeling good, feeling excited. A bit different packing up the bags in, in August for four weeks, but you know I'm excited by the fact that I'll be racing on new roads. Obviously going to be a shock going into like the last week probably. Haven't had that sort of load before, but I'm really keen and yeah, everyone's real G, especially for the team time trial tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, I think the season's been fantastic. It's been a, it's been a, a game change compared to last year. As of right now, before the start of the race here in in, uh, in Holland, I've got eight wins this year, so that's the that's equal to my my best season so far. So we'll try and uh, we'll try and see what we can do there. Um, try and get a new record for the year, um, and obviously that starts here in uh, in the Vuelta. So looking for a good result overall, um, and just trying to do as best as possible everywhere, really. Simon Yates, his bike exchange, Jayco, the British rider, won La Vuelta in 2018 before the start of the Roglic era. Time, so we've got to be happy so far. Let's see what the other teams do. I'm sure there'll be some uh, fast boys out there. We'll take away some uh, learning messages from this uh, trial and do better the next time. The atmosphere maybe around the race is a bit more laid back, but the racing is, is full on and yeah, I think it, it suits my style probably a little bit more. It, it is, it's taxing on both the staff and the riders and it, it takes a special group of people to get through a Grand Tour successfully. Obviously it's been very different to what we've had the last couple of months. We've, um, I mean, I've been up there in the desert for a long time down in uh, Sierra Nevada, so definitely a change. But um, yeah, we don't need the final farm really where it got quite cold, so we we're racing full gas. Bit of a stalemate there uh, in the final, so um, I think we lost a bit more time than we, we should have. But that's the game. No, he did, he did a good job. Look, I think everyone was pretty shocked by that weather. It was very cold and wet and probably uh, had a, a bit of an influence on the results there. But nevertheless, Simon had a good day. Um, didn't lose too much time. It's a long way to Madrid. It was a rough day, to be honest. Oh. 
we found out first thing in the morning off the back of a very good time trial that he produced the day before, so it came as a shock. It's so sad, it's so frustrating to have to talk about any kind of dropouts, but certainly when it comes to COVID, I think the latest tally now is, what, 21 riders have withdrawn for COVID alone. The likes of Simon Yates, we understand he was ill overnight. And when it's such a big goal as it was, you can't help but be a little bit down and, and uh, feel the weight of that loss in the team. We are out of the shadow. When you get the likes of a Yates or a Sivakov in the top ten, you're like, oh yeah, this really is affecting the race now. That was the morning we heard that Simon was uh, positive for COVID, so it was pretty disappointing. Pretty disappointing start of the day. No, I don't, I don't think there's an increase in pressure as chances slip away. I think we've had a good approach here. Come on, huge attack by him. Dan McClay challenges as well. Caden Groves. And we saw in Holland particularly, um, it, wasn't, it wasn't easy. And we, you know, the guys and him were getting quite frustrated with um, not being able to find clear space for him to sprint in. Groves on the line. Caden Groves wins for Bike Exchange. There's a level of expectation that, okay, the, the, team, the team are committing, particularly from Caden, the, the guys are committing 100% for me all day. I can't let them down in the final 300 metres of the race today. Beautiful work, boys. Beautiful work, Hell. All the boys. Awesome work. It's a great show of resilience from the guys there to, to, to come together, move on from that disappointment disappointment of the morning and, and get on with their jobs and they did it uh, to absolute perfection and delivered Caden into a stage win. <laughs> I really felt for him the other day, that was a, a golden opportunity for him. He rode his heart out and, and we, we got the absolute most out of him that day. It was agonisingly close and, and all the guys felt for him particularly. Um, I think he's got a great future in this team, particularly when we, when we bring in guys like Simon targeting that GC. You need those kind of guys that are day in, day out. Yeah, I really just don't know what to say. I mean, I, I'm out there trying my best. I feel like I have the best legs I've had in years. and. I was really hoping today would be the day. It was the day I targeted. Um, coming to this final week, I knew this final climb, climb played to my strengths. Honestly, I don't know what I could have done differently. I think uh, it just wasn't meant to be today. You know, I've tried almost my entire career to win a stage here at the Volta and, you know, continue trying. But that's bike racing, isn't it? That's what makes this sport so exciting, is uh, the wins and the losses. I think success kind of comes in many ways. And I think we'll, we'll be able to walk away from this Walter satisfied and happy, but also hungry for more. <laughs>